doing it. You can climb it. I do it all the time. It's a lot of fun. Just get up there. Don't climb up. Hey, let me get on this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, get on, shut on. No, no, get on. No, Holly, come on. Come on. Hell, okay. my gal. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Soul vibes. <laughs> wow. You know, that would be funny, man. RP characters way too, like, specific characters way too much if you can just act, like, just right between them. It's fun. It's fun playing it something is that fun. isn't a, like, complete chaos. Yeah, the, the exact opposite. <laughs> yeah, it really is the exact opposite. And Seven uh, wonders why gods keep killing him. <laughs> hey, are you a tree? Cool. Why do I make you sound like the uh, Mark Wahlberg and the... So how do you mother for me? Hey, are you a tree? <laughs> What's up, tree? Hey, Can you I a climb tree? you? Are you a tree? Oh, wow. <laughs> Let me climb wow. you, tree. That's awesome. Hey, Let's see, how do you mother for me? <laughs> Very cool, tree. I'm going to get up on these branches. Nice. Did you just say to leave nice. me alone? <laughs> That's a little joke I gave for you. <laughs> a dumb, dumb joke just for you. How do you mother for? Oh, me? man. This is our break, by the way. If anyone's just coming in, we're uh, taking a little break while the Dungeon Master gets a new map. So uh, go get your bathroom breaks and your new coffees going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to wait until one of them goes back. Raymond. And then I'm going to pee. I just have to pee. Raymond Risen Gold. Raymond Risengold himself. John Moore came in here for a bit. That he did. Nice. I know. Johnny John. Probably just I haven't seen him through. forever. Sam, did Emmett ever tell Day they found the thing? I don't think so. No, no, no. Yeah, Let's Austin secret. might know a little bit, but no. Day does not know anything. Day, I have not told Day or talked to Day or sending Day um, anything. I wanted to, but then we started talking to big old snow apes snapes snapes right, <laughs> yeah. severus snow apes hey there big guy how's your divine schlong yeah let me give it a good tuck for luck hey divine <laughs> schlong huh? dude seven uh seven can get respectful yeah he has to he's not dumb i feel like niren's kind of dumb <laughs> He's chaotic. It's different. Uh, chaotic and dumb. Like that's a bad mix. That'll do it. That'll Niren's do it. Niren's been good. tracking down the blight for Kazmine, and he's still sticking his hands in things. Like <laughs> he knows what's going on over there. I don't know if he's seen a a pill bug of death or whatever the hell that thing was, but Niren's adorable. I'm glad you think so. <laughs> I was really hoping that this voice. Wasn't just gonna make people click away from the stream, because it's a very aggressive choice. I'm. I think it's pretty solid. I gotta be honest. I'm pretty annoyed by it doing it, so I can only imagine what it sounds like out there. Do you think Seth's like building it. a map right now to kill me? <laughs> <laughs> just throwing it together real quick. Yeah, just putting it together. I'm stoked. I love Seth Maps. Dude, Seth Maps, so good. Mecha Maps. Mm -hmm. Mecha Maps, top tier. Do you have more mm -hmm. panties? Pancakes? <laughs> Pan. P-A-N-N-I-E-S. Pancakes. Short. I'm just trying to short, shorten pancakes. Do you have, are you eating more pancakes? You can just stop. <laughs> it's like saying waffies, you know? Like waffles. That's all I was trying to say. Like, because you had pancakes earlier. I made this mistake earlier, and I didn't learn from it. Yeah, no, I, um, I'm eating a salad. Oh, well, that's the opposite of a pancake. The exact opposite of a pancake. It kind of is. A pancake has Nutella and syrup on it. Oh, I want that. And it was a chocolate chocolate chip pancake. Oh, there's chocolate and chocolate chips in the chocolate with Nutella on top of a chocolate chocolate chip pancake? With syrup, yeah. I made the most bomb French toast yesterday. Yeah, there. Trader Joe's has this croissant loaf cinnamon bread, and I made French toast oh, yeah. out of it, and it was so good. That sounds good. great. It was so it good, and I put. Yeah, peanut, I'm a peanut butter on your French toast kind of guy, you know. I also make cauliflower uh, hash browns, bunch of bacon, some eggs. We feasted. The feast. How was the cauliflower hash browns? They're they're amazing. I think they're so they're like potato cakes, uh, basically, but um, cauliflower based. They're really good. Mm -hmm. It's not like I used to eat them a bunch when I was keto, and I'd still just love them. Mm 
and the bacon. <laughs> yeah. Not gonna lie, you're not a bacon guy. Not a huge fan of bacon. That's, bacon, I, honestly, I love bacon. I'll eat bacon with breakfast food. You know what I mean? Yeah, bacon's good. I'm not like bacon only bacon. You gotta get bacon because if if you have some nice sausage patties, ooh, you know what I'm saying. Some people are like, oh my god, bacon. Klingon, I haven't been keto for months, as I've said many times. Are you on any type of diet, or are you just like, kind of trying to eat well and exercise and stuff? Yeah, basically, which is a diet within itself. I'm uh, yeah. I'm trying to get back into the swing, the like super swing of things. I'm just trying not to get sick again. It's the like only thing I care about, because I can't work when I'm sick, and that's the yo, worst. Yo, yo. Mm-hmm. Yo, bacon very, is nice with maple syrup. I briefly, I was working on the map and made a quick little sandwich, but I I heard the Emmett 7, everybody RP. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Niren and 7 is a hell of a combo. That's that's called how over under how long is it going to take for them to die? <laughs> <laughs> right? Hey, 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 what's your name? Your numbers. What is it? Johnny numbers. I don't know what your name is. Yeah. What's your name? Johnny Numbers works for me. The Johnny Numbers, let's <laughs> go a, shoot things. Hey, there's a white dragon I think we should meet. Fuck! There's dragons? You got dragons? Hey, I've never seen a dragon. Hey, check this out. What? You ever see a sweet backflip? Oh, shit! Seth, I want a backflip. Do it. But with advantage. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> no! He gets in real and close. Here, check this out. Check out these shadowy wisps. <laughs> This is how it is, Dragon Tears. This is the this is the voice. The voice is what happens. Look upon me, Niren. What is Look it called? Look upon me in my chaos magic. What kind of time is this? It's got to have a name, right? I hate it. What did you roll, well, nerd? I'm using the same table it. from before. <laughs> He's just Niren. Cookie just time. Fly. Cookies. Yeah. 97, dude. Yeah, that's, he really does sound like high. an insurance salesman. I'm trying not to dip into Jersey, but it's really hard not to yell aggressively. 97? Uh, okay. Oh, Lord, you're coming in quick! Turn into a grandma. <laughs> I'm trying really hard not to go full physique okay. on it. Okay. You, know? uh, you, you, would, you would flip, and then you would near it. You would see seven, uh... Like, go all shadowy for a minute. You would regain all of your sorcery points and your highest level spell slot. You would also age by an, an amount. Uh, you see, you'd see seven get pretty old pretty quick. Damn. <laughs> oh, oh, you are old now. You would age by 76 years. Oh, that's Larry. That's <laughs> Amazing. Not super old for the half. I think a half elf can live up to two hundred years, so not the oldest, but not still. horrible. But you still lost seventy six <laughs> years. Like land, still on your, land on about your half my lifespan just... almost. Oh, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that wouldn't be the first time it's happened. Damn. No, I mean, not no. Good. Yeah, you've gotten old before. It just wears off. Damn. I don't really know how it works. It's just weird. Eight like magic. sometimes it, it wears wear off. Sometimes off. it doesn't wear off. You guys went and got restored. Oh, that's right. You paid for that one. We, you know, oh, for yeah. all the times that we get restored, I just kind of forget. <laughs> so they all blend into one. God, if I was a human, though, holy shit, dude! <laughs> it's, oh! oh god! Oh god! My back. Land with the yeah, just got a walker and front flip. <laughs> oh. Well, you know. When I was DMing yesterday, uh, they cast Speak with Dead to talk to this dead guy. And I kept making him just be like, Hell's terrible! Don't send me back! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Picture Niren. In Yo, essence, later, but as a DM, it's pretty bad. Yo, awesome pair. Thanks for coming in, Mikey. Mm. Um, all right, we go back in, back into the wild, uh, Fay. Ready to rock. Ready Ryan, to so rock. Thank you for your raid too. I left. I did leave something important downstairs. So yes, we'll get back in. But we'll get back. There's in one in thing downstairs. A couple of I minutes, do. seconds. Oops. Everybody, if you're having to go to sleep, you know, other parts of this planet, other than 
PST time. I get it. Or if you're sleeping at 4 p.m. PST, I get that too. They're all a mood within their own right. Sunday, Thank you so much baby. for Yeah, it's Sunday. Do you? I get it. Have an awesome, awesome night. Thanks for bringing people in here. We will see you next time. I can't wait for seven for for day to get to play a different character. Okie dokie. Goodbye. You think Day's gonna play a different character? I'm just saying, you know, mid dream, you know, someday. Like I believe. He definitely can. I can't wait to see it. What else he brings to the table. Table. I can do it. I want Day back, but it's not gonna be the only D and D we play together. I'm down to come join on a Saturday game eventually. Oh yes, come over, dude. Your home game? It gets it real, true. real fucky. <laughs> it's real fucky, huh? Getting real fucky over there. Yeah. Really? Yeah. The same yeah. as your home game? Yeah. Getting fucky? Yeah, that I run. <laughs> That's so weird, dude. My, I would my never choices are that. very strong. <laughs> When a character tells someone, and if I don't have their backstory actually written, I make up things, and it's usually really strong choices. <laughs> hey, where's my master? Your master's dead. <laughs> <laughs> no one tells Not so David. easy, is it? No, one tells no, it's amazing. <laughs> it's phenomenal. It's my. No, it it's is. honestly it's my favorite part. thing. I would it's never the best part of like, oh, I don't know what to do here, and then you do it, and you're like, just make a strong. That's how that works. <laughs> this is this, you, but, like, you get, but why? Just the, is. the first four weeks were not were like I don't know what happened about week five week six now going to week seven of it I'm like yep let's go what y'all want I'm in mm -hmm. you know what I wrote wrote all this y'all went to an opera I don't even know where an opera came from but I guess we're going mm -hmm. to an opera and then my bard Love walked that. up to the conductor and was like I'm a star put me in and I was like what is <laughs> happening mm -hmm. that's the other part of it yeah it's mostly yeah. you make a cool right, thing cool. and you're like how did I do that and then your party does shit and you go what is going on? Why? Yeah, I get <laughs> what it. is this? I, uh, it's the best. I can so see what it, level are your are your players? Three. Word. Cool. Three little mm -hmm. BBs. Mm -hmm. I made them level three real quick. And they're going to stay there for a mm -hmm. hot little second. I like it. All right. I'm following Waterdeep right now. The Waterdeep module. I grabbed my shit. played Dragon Heist Waterdeep. It's a lot of fun. It's about to get real demon-y. Well, y'all are ready to get back to it. I'm ready. I'm ready. Thank you all for being here. Y'all are great. I'm not, I'm not ready. I'm 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 ready. God. Sweet. I miss Ed, Ed, and Eddie. What a good show. <laughs> you are the worst. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> you like that? You're, you're terrible. You like that? <laughs> you like that? <laughs> you okay. Like, you like that? God, dude. <laughs> As you all... You like uh, that shit? approach we've returned um <laughs> you guys are walking up to uh this weird structure and you can see the uh cut almost like crystal pools they seem excuse me reflective and almost like like glass though you can tell it is a shimmering rippling liquid uh i'm darting about Sure. Looking at it. Uh, there is just this touch, massive. There's this massive, uh, like, st stepped um, platform off in the distance. Oh. This is where you were. Uh, I saw that earlier. The bottom. It's uh, I didn't touch it because it looks pretty okay. scary. So, if you want to go over there, <clears throat> you're more than welcome. He's Thank actually trying all. to talk quietly. This is just his only volume. Sure. He's screaming. <laughs> I'm not screaming. I'm whispering. <laughs> Inside voices. So. I believe he only has one volume. It's kind of true. Say, yes. I really do. No, cast the maturity and as loud as possible. Inside voices. Oh! <laughs> this echoing wow! boom of his voice. Uh, that was awesome! <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, Day. Yeah, Naren. You got any sweets on you? Uh, I have a lot of honey. You have, you have honey? honey? Can I have some? Always. 
I haven't had honey in a long time. Since yesterday. <laughs> when is yesterday? Oh, I don't, you know, I don't actually know. I said that for you because you're a human. Can I have some honey? Don't Maybe. show Hal, please. He won't let me. If this goes well, I will give you honey. I will give you honey. If you're lying to me, I will track your ass down. Okay. <laughs> Can I see a bag on him? Yeah, he's got like a messenger bag like across his shoulder up underneath his traveling cloak. Okay. I'm just gonna like... I've told you many times, I do not care if you consume honey. You, 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 I... Oh, who said, I didn't say anything about honey. I'm just gonna walk along the river, about thirty feet away. Thirty-five okay. feet. I'm scouting. You guys and have been then, beyond the river for a little while, but all the same, I know what you. I know the intent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna away, right? I'm just mm -hmm. gonna away, and then I'm gonna turn on my heel, book it thirty feet, uh, and then after the thirty like sparks, right, turn into a blur and try to run past Day and snag his bag right off his back, like a school. <laughs> Okay, go ahead and make a sleight of hand. Yeah! Um, 11? Not good. <laughs> you you speed through, grab the bag. You grab the bag, but then it kind of like stopped, and the bag almost like pulls out of your hands as it's still attached and around his shoulder. Uh, Day, you didn't notice him swing by and grab it, but your bag like pulls forward, and then it, it near and just kind of comes to view about six feet in front of you <laughs> as he attempted to drive by grab of your bag and failed. We won't talk about it. I count this as a point. Point? What point? Against you getting honey. Oh, oh no, big boy. I don't think so. Fine. Fine. Oh. Fine. 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 What's the, how many do I need? You need five, five honey points. Huh, how am I ever gonna You're at negative them? one. Okay, all right, all right. I'm being good, that's two points. You nope. lead. <laughs> two points nope. to, to me. Nope. <laughs> mm -hmm. I will award the points. Fuck. <laughs> at any rate, what is this that we're looking at here? It's what a, is this? It's a column with some rocks. As you and there's some splinter stuff coming out. And that's kind of why I came back, because I didn't really know what it was. As you approach there, you can see this kind of crimson pool in front of you. Almost like, think like a lava tube, you know, full of seawater. But it's on the land, unnatural. Uh, and it is this, like, thick kind of bubbling liquid that shimmers like a mirror. Is this like normal kind of... for the no, Feywild? not at all. So that's like a you pool? You can see, it's like a pool. Like, you could go in and, and down into it. I cast um, Detect Magic. Okay. Um, in your in your radius, you do not necessarily pick up anything immediately. Um, and then you have... I'll, I'll give you a visual so you can see what's around. Because you guys can see... Where you are. Oh. Oh, come on, gooseneck. No, it's to me. Oh, oh it's so stiff. <laughs> so, up ahead is that big platform as you guys have kind of approached this area. There are a number of these pools, and then there's that platform up ahead of you. I'd like to walk up to the pool and look down into it, see what I see. Okay. Um, go ahead and make a perception. 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 Uh, let's see, I got. Plus two on perception, and mm. I roll a seven. I got a nine. A nine. Um, you can see a almost distorted image of yourself reflecting back this pool, kind of burbles, and it's it's like it's like uh, like mercury or something would be sort of like a liquid crystal kind of vibe. Very strange. It's both. It seems like it's solid and liquid at the same time. Definitely unnatural. Um, and in some of your teachings, you, you know enough to know that this may be tied to either the rifts. These could be almost like portals to or from somewhere. Uh, definitely not to just be messed. 
Okay. Um, I, l- I looked to Niren. Niren. Kazmin said that you need to put your hand in this. Go to make a deception check. <laughs> Niren is uh, Niren is just struggling, right? Mm-hmm. You know, it's just struggle like. Just... I got a that nineteen. Does not total. seem safe. Make an insight check for me, Niren. Seventeen. Uh, though you try and fight and read into it, he's still a little tough to read. And as much as you, you catch on that points. he's kind of he's giving you the same, the same game, but also you're supposed to listen to this guy, and he's saying Casmine said it. Two honey points, and my is it poisonous? Is it? I dip a finger, just a finger. Does it hurt? Okay. He runs up, and before you even have a chance to say anything, you can see his finger is broken beneath the surface. It does not uh, break like surface tension of water would. It's almost it'd be like think of if you could like stick your finger in a mirror where it would like crack as if you like hit it with something solid. It's it's odd. All you did was dip a finger. You can feel this weird shock of like cold and your finger pressing into something, and the cold is met is instantly met with this kind of sharp pain, and then this like this like burning feeling as if you were like you had your finger okay, in a boiling okay, you're pot you're done you're done you're done come on come on tie a rope to me now i'm going in no nope. even job. from how you had your finger in for the brief moment you did um jumping into it's a terrible idea pull out a short sword and short sword and stab it just to see okay just like he a- plunges a sword in there and you hear it like imagine if you took a sword and thrust it into a pile of broken glass that's what it sounds like as he just plunges it into this pool you can see it ripple out for a moment to kind of quake and settle it's very um you do that this is a very weird thing yeah it's that good thing. to know that it's dangerous now thank you Naren. i award you with two honey points motherfucking Three more, three more, yo. Yo, how uh, did you see that? How something you notice too, as you kind of are surveying the situation, other than the lack of greenery, is this large alabaster that you see uh, up decently high, uh, but you can you see things uh, crawling up the steps, almost like ants or something would be, and you can tell that there's some kind of pestilence tied to this place well it's look over there by the steps I look points this out I look and I and I walk up I walk toward the steps and I, okay. I get up to the first step and I, I look at the steps sure as you approach these steps um, you cannot see the top is literally over your head and you'd have to climb them to see what's going on I'm gonna put my hood up. Um, but you, but being there, you can see. Yeah, you flip your hood up. You can see, just like the 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 bugs and stuff that were crawling around back before, and that were inside of that mound and all this other stuff, um, are like worming their way through the ground, um, and then up these steps. Um, like you know, like imagine if you saw like a trail of ants, um, you know, like crawling up steps, or a curb, that sort of vibe. It's just kinds of weird, gross. Okay, um, I, uh, I cast Mage Hand, Mm -hmm. and with Mage Hand, I kind of wipe away the bugs on, like, a path so I can, like, walk up one step at a time as I'm wiping away the bugs with Mage Hand. Okay. Um, you are doing so. Walking behind him. Following him. Okay. You Um, know when you walk behind someone and you, like, put their foot underneath the foot of your foot right like, yes like one of those i'm doing one of those like i'm trying to lift his feet with my feet as okay. i walk behind him it's weird you there's like this odd syncopation as you're walking where niren is like literally walking up underneath you uh as you climb these steps uh <laughs> hal are you you following i'm gonna follow okay Yeah, so I, I, I walk on up, hopefully getting to the top of this so I can see what's what's happening. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> when I get to the top of the platform, I want to um, trigger, uh, you know, my uh, 
my divine sense. <clears throat> Behind day, I'd like to try and stick my hand in his bag and feel around for some honey jar. Okay. Um, make a slight of hand check again for me, Niren. And uh, you activate divine sense. What are you searching for? By the will of the woodlands. Um, I would like to... Uh... I would like to uh, detect evil. Okay. Um, until the end of your next term, you can sense any anything affected by uh, the hollow spell or know the location of any celestial fiend or undead within 60 feet that is not behind total cover. Okay. <clears throat> seven total. Uh, seven total. Um, That's bad. Day, you've That's walked bad. up and you can see stuff. You don't necessarily see it, but you can feel like a rummaging hand darting around in your bag without even looking. You, you just feel this like at your side. Without looking with, 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 with thaumaturgy, I say minus two honey points. Fuck! <laughs> Put my head out of the bag. Yeah. <laughs> Bullshit. Back to minus um, one. Even as you do that, you can see this weird like vibration ripple like across the, uh, those pools nearby at your voice as they kind of like shake and hold that pattern for a minute before it slowly like melds back into the smooth sp it's a little unsettling um pal as you activate your divine sense you pick up on two things um this platform you are standing on is in fact affected by the hallow spell um except the nature of the hallow spell can be either something good or something bad and in this case it is bad this is desecrated ground um and there is, in fact, um, undead nearby. And it's all of those bugs and stuff crawling around. And it is also concentrated on the symbol in the center of this. That is this writhing, spiraling mass uh, of, of just insects. Um, gathering insects, worms, millipedes, all kinds of gross things. Like writhing on themselves in the center of this uh, platform. You're getting traces of it. From, so you, the, the, the insects that are crawling up this mm -hmm. thing are like gathering in this center spot. Um, is and it crawling it is, around our ankles? It is undead. Yes. Oh, I jump on Haldine immediately. Yeah, you rush up onto Hal. We are on desecrated I, grounds. We I are surrounded by the undead. Wipe off all the stuff off of my feet. Mm -hmm. and I take my torch and I kind of like point it downward at my feet to hopefully keep yeah. the bugs away Some from me. Some of them like move, like their 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 paths divert from the heat of the torch. Uh, they're not necessarily like crawling up you or trying to overtake you in that way. They the the purpose here is just to gather in this central mass. I'd like to light another torch and throw it into the center. Okay. You light another torch and you see Day kind of take a, take a step forward and toss this torch as the wood kind of clatters on the stone. Uh, and as it hits the center, the torch burns out. Ugh. It's disgusting. It's really ugly. It's really, it's not. <clears throat> I take out a tinderbox, light my own torch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I'm going to crawl down Hal. Hal to like stand on his feet to where I'm not standing mm -hmm. on the bug and just kind of point it at the bugs see yeah. what they do you see them disperse and just avoid it and continue forward towards the center still gathering you can see this small mound about a foot tall collected and gathered in the center now you want to shoot it? I um, I take my mage hand into the center swarm and see if I can find anything that they could be swarming around, any kind of like items to, like, or anything. Of <clears throat> okay. Yeah. You, kind of, like, um, can I do the same? You rummage, yeah, you both toss around with your mage hand, but you see the mage hand um, displace a little bit, but it, they're gathering faster than you can like scatter them, so to speak. Uh, um, Hal, you want to go kick them? Just, just crunch them away. You don't. They can't get. Uh, it. Can they, they get in you? Do you have a heart? Because if you do, I don't I'll, want you to do that. Don't kick them, Haldine. I. Uh, they call it the hardwood. 
Oh, so yeah, you are a heart. You're a whole heart. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't really have much for this, but I mean, I could shoot some stuff in there. I fire an Eldritch really? Blast into there. Yeah, there's, you know, a crunch and a squish. This impact happens, dispersing some of them. Um, but they're still gathering mm. quicker. Mound Where is they now coming from. Just the ground just itself. All around, out of the earth. Some of them are crawling out of these pools, and they're all just like slowly crawling up and centering. Can I? Uh, what What's on the opposite end of the platform? Uh, there are a few braziers that are just lit and burning. A couple of pillars, and then the rest of this barren landscape. Before you eventually get to this is kind of like in the middle, and it's just cleared out this ex rounded of just corrupted nothing. So this is ha ha desecrated ground. Is that what you said? What does that mean? I've never heard of that before. Yes. What does that mean? There is unholy magic here. Okay. Like anti casmine you all begin to start to hear these whispers where you kind of like look over your shoulder and look around to each other a bit confused and you can hear just this kind of ethereal swarming uh, echo of these whispers all about you. Uh, I would like all of you to make a uh, wisdom saving throw, please. Oh, man. Is this magic? It is magic. So I have advantage? You do. Hey, uh, you're also all also within... You're all within 10 feet of your uh, trusty paladin, so you get to plus add plus two. two to your save for his order. I got a nat one. I'm going to go ahead and use my, one of my luck. Oh, that's right. I forgot okay. you had luck. That's so sick. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, what is it like to DM against two lucks? That's so cute. 15. Uh, 14 okay. total. So is that I, with your plus two, Niren? Yeah. I roll. Hey, I'll remind you. It should be your roll, plus two, plus whatever your save is, plus a d4 because of your talisman. Yeah, I was I was gonna ask that. Okay, cool. So I rolled a nine, mm -hmm. plus my wisdom plus save two. is a five, so I get fourteen. Plus, plus a two, two is a sixteen. Is oh shit, my wisdom save is a plus six. Whoops, not used to that. Uh, plus <laughs> twenty-one. One. Plus one, which is a okay, seventeen. Nice. Seventeen, twenty-one, well. and what'd you get near in? Fourteen. The 14. Uh, 14. So, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah. Okay. You guys can hear these whispers, and uh, Day, you focus for a moment and kind of know this is intrusive and quiet your mind, push it out. How are you seemingly able to do the same, staving off yourself? You've spent uh, countless years remaining quiet and focused with lots of noise going on around you in the floor. Darren, you try your best to force it out, but that requires being patient and sitting still, not something you're a good uh, you're used to. And Niren, um you see him kind of getting antsy and fidgeting in place before he just kind of pulls up his hands on either side of his head and he turns and just takes off. Um, you are currently frightened, so you would turn and run your full movement. Real quick thing. That's the whole um, spell. Oh fuck me! You see him. You see him turn and run 120 feet. Uh, roll a d8 for me. Three. Okay. Oh no! Uh, I'm oh. going in the pool. Yeah, unfortunately. No. Uh, there's a pool right. <laughs> I know how this works. Right there. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. No! He Get it takes out! off and just starts run, run, and it's like. You both have enough time to push us out, and you hear steps down the like down the stone, and you turn, trying to call out to him to tell him to stop, and you see Niren just running, and then just yeah. fall, and you hear that shattering glass sound again as he just <laughs> and oh, disappears man. beneath this pool. My hood was up. I don't know if I'm going in water. <laughs> oh. Not quite. Yep. I know what you're doing there, but not quite. Yeah, I can um, breathe underwater. Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, I keep almost saying Naren also. I love Naren. She's awesome. Niren. But Niren, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Close. fair. Um, it, it's like falling into a pool of broken glass. 
God. There is this intense burning, searing pain, and you hear him cry out, and, um... <laughs> it burns! It's painful! It's glass! It hurts! <laughs> I'm afraid! Roll a, uh... Let's see. What do you? I mean, what do you want to do? You have a reaction in this moment, and uh, you took damage, so it breaks it. But you, you ran, fell, and then there's that moment where you like, it's it's uh, a bit, you feel like this crushing, burning, stabbing pain as you're in whatever this is, and you know you need misty to get step. Out. Um, um, can I use lightning lore on him? Can I like run up to 15 feet from him and use lightning lore and like you can? What will that do? Fish him out. Uh, what, yeah, what does that do? So it does 1d... Um, I think it's like 1d8 damage, and if he fails on a strength saving throw, then I pull him toward me. Okay, so, so essentially pull him go out. ahead and make a strength save for me, Niren. Eight. Okay. Uh, go ahead and do your damage to him. <laughs> 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 I think it's, I think at your level. No, yeah, you're right. It's still, it's, it's yeah. So do a D8. Yeah. It's I got a seven. <laughs> you take seven points of thunder damage as you are ah, pulled. As Day, Day runs up and puts this like little lightning orb and fishes you out of this pool, pulling you. Uh, yeah. Pulling you out. Uh, I'll put you down it's in a second, Day. Why? <laughs> Everything hurts. Um, this is four honey points, right? Yeah. Yeah. Two more. Uh, as you pull it out, you look and see as he's saying that, and kind of you're picking him up. <coughs> excuse me, picking him up to recover your friend. <coughs> you notice that Niren, two of his teeth. I have like formed into these weird twisted black tusks that are like protruding down almost like uh think like saber tooth fangs but not cool they're like these twisted gnarled black <laughs> tangles what? The... god dude <laughs> what what happened to me oh god <laughs> I heard, oh man i heard voices it was scary and i just had to run <laughs> oh Poor fuck guy. This poor guy. Can I walk back? <laughs> yeah. You're the best. You All can. Right, I'm going to make my way back up to the platform. <laughs> 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 uh, chop Yo, him off. Haldin. Haldin, can you... Get a little of him. Would, would any of Haldin's healing abilities help Niren right now in any way, shape, or form? I mean, he took a little bit of damage, so he can get healed. Yes. Um, he's had some sort of weird mutation. That has happened. Um, so is it, is, it, is it noticeable? Did you notice it? No. It's very noticeable. No, it's no, not noticeable. You can't see it at all. No, Niren. No. Why does your mouth? Does, does something feel weird? Oh, the pool yeah. has mutilated mutilated you, child. How? <laughs> I thought you said it wasn't noticeable. You can see it. It is noticeable. No. You Why are so deformed honest? now, <laughs> young one. <laughs> Day, he begins to cry and just eat part of the uh, rations you had in your bag that he stole earlier when he was looking for honey. <laughs> Great. Mm. Awesome. Fine. Whatever. Oh, man. I'm over it. I only live for like, okay, well, you know, a little bit more, so who cares? I uh, I go ahead and Eldritch Blast the, the pool to our right. Okay. See if it does anything. You fire a, a blast in the other's pool. You hear this shatter as the pool kind of like impacts and takes that shape uh, almost like clay as it holds position for a minute and ripples in this weird shifting uh, pattern before slowly melding and settling again. You also notice okay. that this mound that was here in front of you in this brief moment, as you all have been doing this, is slowly uh, taking form. You see something almost like uh -oh. hunched over, uh -oh. and you can see beneath all of the uh, the mass of swarming insects and stuff these um, long, like 
tarnished golden tines digging up and things oh. just writhing on them and out. No. Uh oh. What? I used to detect magic. Can, you sh can I shoot it? You can. As what? So fucking cool, Austin. <laughs> That's As amazing. you are detecting magic, uh, you do not pick up on magic auras. Well, you you I take it back. You're starting to sense there is a a dome around whatever that is, that is magical, and there's some sort of barrier around. Okay, um, I message the the form that is coming to shape. Mm-hmm say hello and as you send your message you know that it fails because it is locked what do magic is not great what's the play Three. here I'm not gonna bow I don't know I um I think that it might be best to maybe step down these stairs to kind of like back away from the figure that's starting to appear you all, uh, yeah, as you slowly begin to back up, you all can see uh, this kind of gnarled gray-green hand emerge from this mound and, like, peel off some of the the stuff that is covering it and brush back this slick, wet, soaked-through kind of grimy red hood that is against whatever this uh, golden-tined mask is. And slowly lurching and turning unnaturally to face you is this featureless mask with these long tines extending down with this like pressed wet purple green veil like slick against its body um, it is in these tattered crimson robes and uh, it's just this gnarly looking thing with this weird golden mask with no features no eyes no mouth or anything um, there's this mask covering this hooded form. Um, this little dome kind of shimmers over it. As it just stands, you see it reach down, and it itself is, like, made of this mound of pestilence. You can see there's these, like, writhing worms and stuff up underneath it where legs should be. Just kind of like a, like an octopus out of water on itself. Um, you see it reach down in this mask and pull up this, like, ashen gray wooden gnarled staff these metallic tines and this weird orb fixed to the top of it uh tentacles and uh weird appendages producing this uh book up from out underneath it and begin to just flip it open and slowly turn pages i want to shoot you fire and your arrow hits and shimmers against this dome uh -oh. um yeah i back up a little farther raises that hand and begins to kind that? of manipulate and turn and you uh -oh. can see this weird almost like Think like a, a tesseract or a weird kind of different fractals and these weird geometric shapes uh, manifest in this runic energy above this open book in his hand as he's turning and manipulating it in this weird fashion. Um, Seth? No. What are you Stop. doing? Seth, come back. You don't need to grab anything. It's okay. Hey, 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 stop, stop, stop. I know I, you can hear me. You have headphones with wireless. Yeah. Stop. I can. Yeah. Uh, and before you, you see that figure. What the hell is that? Um, Ever seen anything sting. like it before? Probably not. You have not. Um, this thing fires. Uh, you, you fire at it. They even maybe responsive with an Eldritch Blast. You all are kind of backing up and panicking, scrambling, seeking what to do from each other as this thing arrives and then uh, speaks out to all of you as you hear this raspy voice come to you. I do oh, believe bitch. it is begun. Uh -uh. What do you mean begun? Uh -oh. What is this? What are you doing? Allow me to show you, child. Run! I take step back. You see him kind of 
slowly turn this staff to the side and he I'm gonna jump touches in front. like the knuckle of his hand onto the uh like the edge and you see it like impact with this kind of shockwave pulse on the edge of the dome. And as he does that, the pool off to the side erupts and shatters like a geyser throwing glass shards everywhere. And you see this form uh erupt out of it and slam onto the ground and slowly like pick itself up this hulking swollen like wart covered form of this weird frog like creature bulging like goldfish like eyes with uh, yellow eyes with these slits in them a huge like needle like maw like larger than it should be almost like a weird pelican frog looking thing um this thing just like writhes up out of this pool um and faces you guys at the bottom of these steps you jump in front um just in case for whatever happens and and roll initiative. Oh, God. Fuck me. Do I, get plus, do, you, do I get a plus D4 on my initiative? You do get a D4 on your initiative. Oh, come on. I need to spend like two hours before every stream just massaging my gooseneck, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for fluid, uh, fluid camera rolls. 13. Uh, this, this. Ugh. Ew! 13 for Niren. Is it just on its face? <laughs> I mean, yeah, landed prone. Uh, 13 for Niren. What do we got? Hal? Day? I got 10 total. 10. Yeah. 20. 20 even. 20 even for Hal. Well, nice. Actually, I rolled a 12, but then I remember that I get advantage on initiative. So get I rolled again and it's a 20. Thick ass flail, dude. Um, okay, let me roll for this thing. Great. Hey. Okay. Um, Hal, you are up first. There's this weird dude um, that you've never seen before causing some problems, and he summoned or erupted this weird frog demon creature thing out of this crystal pool, um, and it looks hungry. Um, I am going to, uh, uh try to attack, uh, I'm assuming it's Razim, but we're, you know, the mysterious sure. dude. I know that Mike knows that, but yeah, you, so you yeah. want to run up and try and hit him. Okay. Yes. Uh, you rush up and as you get within uh range, you go to swing and the attack glances off this, like shimmers off of the forest field, um, unable to, and he just kind of gives this chuckle as you run up. Careful. Shit. You Not only great. used about 15 feet of movement to get there, and it's one of your attacks. Shit. Oh, God. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. What do you want to do? Uh, I guess I'm going to approach the... Uh, I guess I'm going to approach the... Uh, the monster. Camera's okay. throbbing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fixing it. Robbing. Or attempting to. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, so you're going to re reroute and head towards the other thing? Yes. Okay. Get to the edge, shore it up between your allies for protection, um, and you're there at the ready. Any bonus action, anything like that from you? Um, bonus action. You know what? Hang on, I'm reading. Yeah, no worries. Uh, I'm gonna uh, ensnaring strike. Okay. Uh, Fuck is that? <laughs> you built it. Strike. Well, it's the first. It's a, well, I went. I was gonna do uh, second level. Um, and the next time you hit a creature with a weapon attack before the spell ends, a writhing mass of thorny vines appears at the point of impact, and the target must eat on a strength saving throw. Although, you know what? That's probably not smart because the thing's probably strong as fuck. Yeah. I mean, you're not sure. You've you've cast it in this moment too, so it's okay. Yeah. 
Uh, all right, Hal runs up, slams one into the dome, doing nothing, and turns to come protect you all, rushes between you, and you can see him kind of swinging the flail to get ready, and you can see these like, brambles growing up around it and gathering form, like this massive wrecking ball at the end of his flail, covered in all these like brambles and shit. Not great. Uh, okay. It is the creature's turn. Oh, um, can I use a, my extra attack to hit it? Or try to uh, hit it? It's too far away. You don't have, oh, you shit. don't quite have that much reach. Okay. Um, but good attempt. Okay, so this thing get up from being prone. So it gets up and, uh, who's right here? Oh, well, you're no. all right here. Uh, Hal, it's going to try and hit you. You see this thing stand up um, and just kind of like almost like hold itself like it's, you know, nauseous and uh, erupt and this massive warty tongue flies at you trying to hit you. Uh, um, probably not. It's only a 15. Um, no. It lashes out and you bring up the shield or knock it away with the flail. Um, missing it completely. Uh, that's all it's got. Away from me. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Niran, you're up. Oh, that's my name. I was like, man, Niran yeah. really should go. Fair. Ah, gosh, <laughs> what is that thing? And I'm going to um, book it mm -hmm. towards the rock. Okay. I'm just going to go uh, basically over your head. Like, sure. literally yeah, yeah. on screen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in yes, that direction. I, I knew what you meant. Um, okay. As I do, turn, uh, pull a bow, and... Fire. Fire twice. Cool. Do it. First one is a 21 to hit. That hits. Then a... Ooh, way better to hit. Both Um, hit. And I didn't. Hunter's Mark. Okay, okay. So seven damage. You can, and then... you can, you can hunter's mark. We're, okay. But being a little loose, these are you played this character for you know two hours. <clears throat> uh, I want to hunter's mark and then do it. Sure. So first attack is a five nine plus another four thirteen. Second attack is a okay. two six plus another four another ten. So twenty three. Twenty three damage. Got it. I think I did that right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A couple then, of hits. This thing trying to almost eat them as they come in, but that shot's too quick because it's hitting in the back of the throat and sticking out of the tongue. Um, Whatever the rest of that movement was, just move away from everyone. Sure. Yeah. You, you quick as fuck. Um, <laughs> I don't even need to, like, wait. You, you can cover the map if you want to, and you got enough clearance to get the run-ups, so you're fine. Um, all right, sick. Day, it is don't your turn. Die! Can I use concentration on two things or only one thing at a time? One thing. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast hex on this on this monster on this creature. Sure. I'm going to hex. It's um, I'll hex. It's. It seems deck. beefy and it seems strong. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll hex its strength. Okay. Ooh. Like you just looking at it, it's hardy. And gonna have probably a high con, and it's strong. That's you can you get that no problem. So strength is hex. You've hexed it. That's your bonus action. Got moving and action remain. Um, actually, no. You know what? I gotta go with con. I I, I gotta go okay. with con on the hex. I gotta go with cool. con. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hex the con, and I'm going to. I am going to Eldritch blast it. Do it. Cool. So let's check it out. Uh, I got a 17. Blast, blast, blast. Mm -hmm. And a 23. Both hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Both 2d10, hit. 2d6, okay. plus 8 total. Plus 8. 2d10, 2d6, plus 8. So that's um, 25. 25 damage. 25 more damage. Two beams from day as you see him kind of conjure this uh these bits of shadow that cling to the form of this thing uh, like a pox and then two beams slamming into it uh, 
shuddering through the creature. Looking rough. Any movement from you or anything? I'm going to stay right next to Haldine. Sweet. Um, yeah. Okay. Layer action. Okay. Um, you guys are doing battle with this thing. And uh -oh. Uh, uh -oh. you all hear the entity in the back just... Drago. No. It makes it much easier. Don't seemingly no other effect right now. Okay. Don't point a finger. <laughs> <laughs> no, no finger. Not I thought quite. he was about to dust somebody. <laughs> I thought. No, no, no. Struggle. Right. <laughs> um. Uh. Okay, Hal. It is your turn. Kick his ass, Hallie. Uh, how far away is the creature from me? Uh, maybe uh, 15, 20 feet. But you can like go down the steps and run up to it if you want you to. Know. But 20, 20, 30 feet. One. Foot, All right. And two, how far away is um? What's his face away. from me? Uh, about 15 feet on the center of the platform. Just at the top. Okay. Leave I'm me going alone. To, <laughs> I'm going to place my... Um, Hal. He's going to place his root hand on his heart mm. and say something like um, by branch, by leaf, by the eternal spirit of the forest. He's so cool. Channel divinity. Oh. Turn the faithless. Ooh. Okay. Literally, um, in two seconds, one one shot. You've played better as a divine person than I ever. Have. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You've said cooler shit strong. than Emmett ever ever has. <laughs> okay, so you're using uh, channel divinity to turn undead. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, turn the faithless as an action. You present your holy symbol. Um, yeah. As you, you, you use your channel video, utter an ancient words that are painful for Fae and fe fiends to hear. As an action, you present your holy symbol. Each Fae and fiend within 30 feet of you that can hear you must make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, the creature is turned for one minute or until it takes damage. I don't even, even know what that you means. You are also Fae. You are immune to this. Uh, and I'm near more an than day, 30. So you're good. You're also farther. Um, okay. So they have to make a what now? A wisdom save? Wisdom save. Why? Why? <laughs> Dude, how too good, bro? How I too, guess, just or it's just good. every time I make any kind of save against a Hal thing, it's yeah. like a single digit. Yeah. Um, wisdom. What does this thing have? Wisdom. Great. That's a that's an eight. Um. So nope. And what is the condition? They're they're frightened of you. They are turned. A turned creature must spend its oh, time yeah, trying turned. to move as far as away from yeah, you as you can. You can't willingly move into a space thirty feet of you. The, you can't creature, take reactions. the creature in this sphere just chuckled. Seemingly enough. Hmm. The frog thing is freaking out. It's giving this like... Her, <laughs> you see its eyes. Action, fucking it can only out. use the dash action to try to escape from an effect God that prevents it. it from moving. <laughs> okay, so it's, it's its turn. Um, you just see it... Fuck. It just turns and runs back into the pool. As it's yeah! freaking out like uh yes, like get Aaron pulled did on. and just falls and shatters into the pool and you just see it like you hear the shatter and it's just and it just sinks beneath the surface. Oh um, it's rocked. Yeah, it's fucking rocked. Just bro. like that. Huh? I'm so glad I didn't mm -hmm. do more. That's even better. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna burn some stuff. Uh, is this the time where I move my hex or is is it still like it's with just it's floating right now. You know, your hex is just around. You can you can move it on a subsequent bonus action turn. Um, I can move my hunter's mark also, right? Yes, you can. Um, somebody roll a d6 for me. Dang, One. This is your story. <laughs> oh. Yeah. How dare you? I was gonna roll the special skull okay. dice. Oh. So There's a moment uh, where the creature is good. You can cause suffering. No, oh, no. You've been a great asset, ah. Raymond. Oh, can I run it back up to them on the dais? Yeah. Just you to rush back up. Yeah, cool. As you do, you hear another shatter uh, as something else is thrust from the pool. There's this shatter yeah. as something else is almost belched out and lands. Uh, also slick and wet and cut up from uh, from this emergence. 
you can see there is this um, like weird purpley oil looking stuff covering its body and almost like sprays out of it as it leaps up leaping from its form off of its cuts um, again just cover it. It, you've seen trolls before this is a troll but not a normal troll it's a bad boy troll it's a big bad boy try and get in here a little more so people can see what's Ugh. That's why I'm Mike. Was that fucking Razim in session zero who green flashed us in the tower and sent us away? Is that who that was? Was that actually him? Is that what's happening right now? I'm freaking out. Wait a second. Was that Seth? Seth! We'll talk afterwards. Seth! <laughs> Seth, you son of a bitch! Holy shit, dude. So that guy pops out of the of he was the just pool. A guy in robes, you know. Um. And he flashes with a book, okay? Uh, that guy pops out and he's looking all sick and gross. Um, and it is that thing's turn. I know who this is. I'm not asking if that's Razim. I'm asking about the guy from the first tower in session well, let's, zero. Let's keep it moving. Yeah! Hold on. It's this creature's turn. Uh, it's going to... What is it? Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. Let's do it. Um, stop, stop. It's gonna stop. run Why up. Why does he get a turn? Because he emerged right now. It's his turn. <laughs> and I'm gonna do stuff too. Because <laughs> it's a one shot. I'm gonna kill you. Uh, this thing. No, 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 no. <laughs> just gets up to the top of the steps, and you see it like almost simultaneously reach out uh, <gasps> with its claws, grabbing at both Day and Nirin for grapple attacks. Oh. Um,. Niren, I'll give this wind. to you because you, you, well, you don't have that. You do have your blur active because you moved yeah. super fast. So, uh, disadvantage on you, disadvantage on your cow, your whole family. Um, <laughs> uh, ah, damn it. Yeah, yeah 19 and a, and a two. Yeah. Um, so, fuck, 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 fuck. a nine doesn't hit you. Uh, you manage to blur out of the way as this thing tries to reach for you. Claw comes for you, day. Uh, does a 18 hit you? Uh, yes. Okay. You, it does not do damage. You're just, gr however, grappled. So this thing, like, Paul swipes at you and then grabs a day, uh, kind of grabbing you by, like, the collar, uh, and your, like, your collarbone is this massive clawed hand just kind of sinks into you, day, and it just pulls you forward and, like, has you, like, uh, you know, like a, like a gorilla holding its young kind of thing. It just grabs you and, like, pulls you against it. It's like gross, oily, warty flesh. Your face is just like pushed up against it as it just squeezes you onto its body. Um, and you are currently grappled by this. That Great. is its turn. Um, uh, wait, did it do next, any damage? Did not damage, you are grappled instead. It, was, it just it okay. wanted to grab hold of you. Yeah. So you're not damaged right now. You can see it's covered in these weird like pustules and it's gross. Look at it, it's gross. Uh, Hal, it is your turn. This thing has rushed up the steps, made an attempt to grab at your two companions, and grabbed a hold of your lord. What are you doing? Uh, well, okay. Uh, I Before I cast Ensnaring Strike, but I wasn't in range to hit it, so I'm assuming well, so that that's Ensnaring active. Strike is active. It's it's just on you for the next attack you right. make. So it's still okay, ready great. to go. Yes, sir. All right, so here we go. I'm going to try to give it a good bash with my, with my flail. Get him. Uh, 10 plus 5, 15. 15 just hits. Ooh. Uh, yeah, so he's got to make a strength save. Uh, okay. Go ahead and do all of your damage. Uh, okay. right Ooh, natural 19 for a uh, 23. Yep, that, that beats my 13. Son of a bitch. Um... Mm -hmm. So go ahead and do all of your damage. Um, you can choose to smite if you still have slots available. It's up to you, but this yeah. should be... Uh, okay, so we're going to smite yeah. again. Should be a total of 3d8 um, plus 2d6, I think, for Ensnaring Strike. Yeah, another 2d6. And then all of that plus 2. God damn it. <laughs> got two ones. Uh, two, uh, six, nine... 14 plus 16. 16 damage. Awesome. Um, 16. Whoops. 
16. Uh, as you slam your flail into it, sinking in like a big thorny 